Hey crew, the Broken Warlock build is back and even better. We have all the new stasis mods now and we also got Agar Scepter and the Catalyst as well. So the video I did a couple weeks ago is even stronger now. That's the one you see on screen there. Yes, we could have killed all the frozen enemies much quicker and even melted down the two overload champions with Agar Scepter's charge beam, you know, consuming our super. But I wanted to take it a little slower and show the power of this build. You can see the continuous loop of our buffs on the left hand side of the screen that shows damage boost, shielded, and the two most important ones, charge with light times two and resist times four or five. That's because of the new stasis mods we're using and the fragments that we're taking advantage of. Pay attention to the aspects, the fragments, and the mods we use because it's different than the normal stuff on a warlock. Like ice flare bolts, we're not even using this, uh, that aspect in this build, which is crazy for a warlock, right? This allows us to be super tanky where all the adds can't even kill us in this 1350 uh, Master Nightfall right now. But it also allows us to be more offensive with the exotic um, Battle of Harmony and with Agar Scepter instead of something like maybe running the stag, right? We also can keep all those turrets up without Verity's Brow, so it's really opened up the Warlock options and I love that. This is the build I will take into Grandmasters on my Warlock when those open in a week or two because the crowd control is just amazing and yet you still have that damage potential with Agar Scepter, Battle Harmony, the Catalyst, and we even have Threaded Needle in our Heavy for the Linear Fusion Rifle. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then hit that subscribe button for me and become part of the crew here. Also, the links to my Discord and Twitch are down in the pinned comment below. And if you have any questions, then leave them in the comments and I will answer them for you. Okay, so let's look at the Stasis subclass for the Warlock first because you gotta pay attention to the aspects and the fragments because we're using different ones. And then make sure when the mod section comes up, pay attention to those because if you don't, it will not work like this and you need the right mods and fragments and aspects to make that rotation of the damage boost, of the shielded, of the charge with light and the resist. Our first aspect is Glacial Harvest. Freezing targets create stasis shards around the frozen targets. Higher tier combatants create more shards. So all you literally have to do is freeze targets. Our second aspect is Bleak Watcher. Press and hold the grenade button to convert your grenade into a stasis turret that fires slowing projectiles at nearby targets. This is all the stasis turrets you see everywhere. And this has two fragment slots and also Glacial Harvest had two fragment slots as well. So you can have four total fragments. Our first fragment is Whisper of Bonds. Defeating frozen targets grants you super energy. This is keeps our super always topped off along with our exotic. So we have Agar Scepter overcharged. Our next fragment is Whisper of Conduction. Nearby stasis shards track to your position. The third fragment is Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds. Collecting additional shards adds to the overshield and refreshes the timer. If you're weak, the stasis shards will heal you. And our last fragment is Whisper of Chains. While you are near frozen targets or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage from targets. Okay, so let's go over the weapons and the armor because this is very important and make sure to have all these mods on because it really pulls the build together. So we're using Agar Scepter, of course. Make sure you have the catalyst so you can overcharge that um, awesome beam and do awesome damage. This takes care of all barrier champions as well. We're not bringing barrier into any content we're doing with barrier because Agar Scepter overcharged handles it by itself. We have a bow on and we have threaded needle for extra DPS, right? Our heavy damage that we never even freaking use. On our helmet here, we have elemental shards. Stasis shards count as stasis wells for you. Does not apply in Crucible Trials or Iron Banner. Double trace rifle ammo finder as well. So all shards that we create by freezing enemies with glacial harvest, those count as wells. And those shards give us overshield and the freezing of the enemies gives us damage reduction with Whisper of Chains. On our gauntlets here, we have Elemental Charge. Become charged with light by picking up an Elemental Well. If the Elemental Well matches your subclass type, you get two stacks of Charge with Light. This is how we become charged with light because we pick up our Stasis Shards that we create by freezing things. And those shards give us the Overshield. They give us Charge with Light as well. We have Thermoclastic Blooming on our gauntlets. Defeating a combatant with a Solar or Stasis Melee creates an Orb of Power. And we also have Overload Bow on. On our chest piece here, we have Protective Light. While charged with light, you gain significant damage resistance against combatants when your shields are destroyed. This effect consumes all stacks of charged light. The more stacks consumed, the longer the damage resistant lasts. So I'm going to go through that loop with those three mods in a second. 
but just while we're on the chess piece here, we're rocking Mantle of Battle Harmony as our exotic of choice. And the main thing is takedowns with weapons that have a damage type matching your subclass element grants you extra super energy. So we're combining this with Aegir Scepter to always have a super up, which you've seen in the gameplay. So as far as the three mods go, Protective Light, Elemental Charge, and Elemental Shards, that's the three big ones that keep that loop going of you and your survivability. Right? So you have elemental shards. Every time you freeze something, you're creating elemental shards because of Glacial Harvest. With those shards, you're getting overshield and the shards track to you. And when you're next to the frozen targets, you're getting already a damage reduction, which is resist that you see times whatever. You're doing that with Glacial Harvest. You pick up a shard that automatically tracks to you with elemental charge and you become charged with light times two. And then you spend that charge with light with protective light, which is also the damage resistance you see. That's how we have damage resistance times four and times five pretty much all the time. And that's why you have an overshield pretty much all the time is from rhyme. So that's why I like conduction because all the stasis shards come straight to you and it just activates all this. It activates rhyme. It activates elemental shards, it activates elemental charge, and when you take the damage, it activates protective light. So very simple, and you don't have to be doing anything, right, for all this to work. You literally just freeze enemies with Agar Scepter, or creating your stasis turrets, throwing them out, and letting those things freeze everything. So it's a really nice gameplay loop. Like, you just do your normal stuff, and it all works. On our boots here, we have Well of Potency. You could probably sub this one out, but I have it in here. Picking up Matching Elemental Well grants you Super Energy. We have Trace Rifle Scavenger. We also have Orbs of Restoration. Uh, get energy off of picking up Power Orbs. On our chest piece, we did have Trace Rifle Reserves. And we had Trace Rifle Ammo Finder on our helmet, because you always want to make sure you have ammo for your Aegir Scepter. On our bond with some really important mods here, we have Fire and Ice. Defeating a champion spawns a random ar array of Solar and Stasis Wells. Resident Siphon, really huge for this build. Gain stasis ability energy whenever you or a member of your fire team stuns a champion. That that doesn't matter if you're stunning any type of champion, overload, unstoppable, barrier, you're getting stasis energy back. That's how we always get our stasis melee back instantly and how our bleak watcher grenade that we're getting back so fast is coming back super fast. We also have thermoclastic strike. We can stun an overload champion with a solar or stasis melee, which is strong against them. And then we also get our melee back right away as well. So very important mod too. But Resonant Siphon is the big one that keeps our stasis abilities up all the time whenever there's a champion in the room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. On screen here, you'll probably see two or three different videos that maybe you have seen, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, click on them, go give them a watch. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.